I've got that uh, cam card all charged up, ready for... Because they're coming in on Stockport Station, you know, on Thursday at 2 yeah. o'clock. And Jimmy's, uh, he, he's fucking... You know, he's got a bigger car than me. And I said, well, pick him up. You know, you have to. He said, "Well, my boots are only small." I said, "Yeah, but they're not going to be fucking, you know, great big fucking cases." True. It goes a minute, Mike. Right. Uh, getting back to this, folks. I've uh, got Mike here with me today, as you know. Uh, say hello, Michael. Hello. <laughs> uh, anyway, basically, I've actually been through this. And I'll go through it again because uh, I left the camera, cam I left the camcorder on while me and Mike were in the front room having a cup of having a cup of coffee, and I don't edit. I'm not editing. I'm not messing about trying to edit that. And you also missed the point where I got an electric shock, <laughs> and uh, that'll be on there. Did, but yeah. I'm not. Yeah, I did. Yeah, well, you were here. Yeah, yeah. I got a right zinger, didn't I, Mike? Yeah. yeah. But uh, I'm not letting you lot see that. <laughs> you lot are not seeing that. Me getting a real zinger. Uh, yeah. If you ever want to, if you ever want to, if you ever want to charge your love life, up, get the, put your hand in my amplifier. <laughs> right. Well, basically, uh, I found out where the purple wire goes. Me and Mike have. Uh, uh, sometimes it helps to hijack somebody else's brain as well as your own. And anyway, we know where the purple wire goes. It goes to here. It's ground. Just move this in a bit. Or oh, failing that, I could uh, I could use my new toy, couldn't I? Yeah. If it's not gone flat. That's it. Put that in it. Yeah. But I think it falls back down again. Yeah. Cheap Chinese shit. There we go. <laughs> uh, but one of the gears have broken it, you know. I know you said, yeah. I told you. Oh, that, yeah, you said oh top. fucking hell! Only yeah, one pound, one pound seventy for a new yeah. motor. I only want it. I only want it there. Yeah. Stop you, cunt! That'll do. And it'll move. It still moves left and right. Yeah. But only so far. Yeah. You know. So yeah. I could live with it like that, but why not? I must have it right. Yeah. I mean, not only cheap shit, really. Twenty-seven quid. I mean, if you paid 27 quid years ago, it'd be really good quality. Well, but then again, that was when 27 quid was a lot of money. That's right, yeah. yeah. Shut it. up, you. He's grumbling. He's always grumbling, like yeah. a woman, him. Right, so what we do now, we're putting full mains voltage in. And we've got 18 volts, oh no, we haven't, we've got 20... 22.5, isn't it? Well, we did have. Yeah. Uh, I've knocked the plug out. No, I haven't. Got you. Uh, Your earth's not on. Your meter earth. Yes, sir. And we're on DC. We're uh, we're getting nothing. Let's try the speaker. I did this before, didn't I? Yeah. But. No, nothing. Oh. Nothing, absolutely. <clears throat> Try that. There. You are. Now we're getting there. Uh, we're getting twenty. We're getting the uh, twenty-two point five. Is it? Uh, <laughs> If you can read that, uh, twenty two point six, twenty two point six. Yeah, we're getting on it. And if we go to the DC offset, uh, we're getting eleven volts. Which is correct. It's not. The DC offset on the speakers. That's nowhere near correct. Uh -huh. Should be nothing on it. Right. So if I put the speaker on, the speaker, the speaker's working, and there we go. 
Nothing. Right. Nothing. Nothing on it. Nothing. And if we go to the other amplifier, the other channel, we've got two volts on that, so I need to look into that. Find out why. We've got two volts on that one. And nothing on the other one. Yeah, because there's definitely nothing there. You know, 0 0.3 millivolts or something daft. 0 0.3 volts. Which is acceptable, I think. Yeah. Uh, uh, and on this one, got 2.1 volts. But we are getting sound through it. If I put the speaker onto it. And the, if I turn the volume down, turn the power off first, not taking any fucking chances, turn the volume back up, I can check for hum then you see, yeah. because cause there shouldn't be anything now, it should be dead silent. Bit of a rustle there. Yeah. Nothing on that one. No. Yeah, that's the one. That's, that's the one with the two volts on it. That's the one with the two volts on it. Yeah. That, that's the one with nothing on it. Yeah. The transistor that could be dodgy. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Let's yeah. try it again now. Hit it. See, there's nothing on there. There's no no DC offset on there at all. No DC. Nothing on that one now either. Oh. So it must be when you turn the fucking volume up. But with no volume, there's nothing on them. No. But uh, I don't like that rustling sound. No. So I'm going to have to... Investigate that. Well, what I'll do... Oh, it's transistor noise, isn't it? Yeah. Mullard modules. Yeah. Oh. But that no that hum that hum's controllable. Yeah. Which means that uh, I need to look at uh, I need to look, look for something that's noisy. Yeah. I've changed all the electricity. Could even be a bad resistor. Could be. Yeah. You know, one that's a bit dodgy. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to look at that. The other channel's okay. Yeah. It could even be this fucking selector. No, it ain't. No. Ah. Ah. That's noisy pot, is it? I've just pulled the knob off. Ah. Just be noisy pots. <coughs> ah. Uh. Noisy balance control, is it? Yeah. No, it's a bit of a dodgy. Yeah. Hang on. I find that out where. Right, I think it's the bass control. Yeah. Either the bass or the treble. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my gonna get my trusty can of switch cleaner. Yeah. Get a bit of going over. 
Yeah, I'll tell you something about this switch cleaner because I gave you some of it, didn't I? Yeah, you did, yeah. Gave you two two cans of it, I think. Yeah. I'll tell you something about it. Yeah. R don't turn anything on right after you use it. Yeah, right, right. Conductive. Is it? Yeah, let me show you something. Yeah. Are you ready for this, folks? I'll just spray a little bit there, look. Yeah? Switch cleaner. Yeah. yeah. Watch this. Yeah, I'll give you the meter. Alright. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wonder if we can get a dead shot. Let's press that. Continuity. No. No. But as you can see, it's conductive. Yeah. It's, it, that's the, 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 it's about seven or eight ohm. Oh, hang on, we're on eight. Oh, hang on, we're on voltage there. There. Nothing there. Let's take yeah. it off continuity. There. Yeah. Eight meg. Eight meg ohms. Yeah. We're still fucking reading. Yeah. Jim. And if we go to here, nothing. Yeah. But in that spray. Yeah, you're right. It's conductive. Yeah. Yeah. So the the thing there is when you use it, don't turn it on straight That's after. Right, yeah. So what we'll do now, we've turned. The power off, turn the variator down to be safe. And what I'll do now, I'll spray all the controls. Yeah. Can't get into that way for one. But. Feel better, do they? They're starting to. Yeah. But that feels really horrible, that bass control. Does it? Well, I think that might be the trail, I don't know. What is it? Let's have a look. Uh, off. Bass. Yeah. Yeah, it's the bass control. Yeah. And that's what's causing that noise. Yeah. Because when I touch that control, it stops. Yeah, true. I'm not happy with that base control, it's shit. Let's see if we can get a bit more in there. Don't really lose that as now, hasn't it? It feels a bit better, it just yeah. feels notchy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as much as it f what was before, but yeah. Right, so let's turn that volume down a minute. Move this out of the way. You want your air dryer on it now to dry it off, really, don't you? No, we'll be all right in a minute. Yeah. Just leave it for a couple of minutes. Be all right. <clears throat> See so now I've worked the stuff and when I've worked the stuff in, yeah. we should be okay. Yeah. Right, so basically back on. So low voltage to start with. Oops. Speaker connected. Nothing. Um. No horrible noise now. If I turn the volume up, there. Yeah. Better. Picking up radio, isn't it? Mm. Oops.
that base control? Yeah. Something in there anyway. Yeah. Oops. I just heard a click then. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I'm going to check all this. What I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to leave it for now because yeah. I need to sort him out and I'm going to check. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to check the tone control circuit. Yeah. I'm going to check all this preamp. Yeah. And uh, But at least I know the amps are working. That's right, you do. You know, that's the main thing, the amps working, yeah. so. Yeah. There's a lot of work in them. That's yeah. Like I'll, I'll tell you what, I, what else I noticed. Yeah. I noticed the bulb didn't light up. Right. So the bull's probably blown. Possibly. Is it a miniature one? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So if I go to the other channel, you should have about the same level of noise, which it has. Yes, it does. So, yeah, yeah. You know, we're not getting that hum now. That's right. So we've. Uh, so we've, we've 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 cured the hum just by cleaning the controls. Yeah. The base control I think is still a bit notch. It needs to be replaced probably. Or else taken apart and stripped. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Mm. The electricity goes through okay because it went through me as well. That's right. And uh, yeah, that was right zinger. Yeah. Yeah. I can still feel it. I bet you can, yeah. A proper tingle of that one. Yeah. I hate electric shocks. Yeah. Yeah, so basically, yeah, because them, 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 them leads go to the record deck. Yes. I've got, a, I've got a piece of, I've got a piece of lead somewhere that's got to be connected to them. Right. Uh, so that I can, because there's a plug on the bottom of the record deck for the right. monitor. Yeah. So it can plug straight on, you say. Yeah, yeah. And we've also got this to earth as well. Which goes to the bottom of the record deck, right. and these leads they go to it. Right. Yeah. Uh, they're the record deck leads. Yeah. But uh, I'm gonna pronounce the amplifier modules as good as good, because uh, when I tap that mod that, that front preamp, uh, that's when I get noise and crackling. So there's something loose on there, or something touching. So I'm gonna. I'm going to examine that in a bit, folks. I'm, uh, you know, I'm going to, as I would say, uh, we'll probably do it after me tea. Yep. Right, uh, I'll get going then, and. Uh, okay. No, I don't think I'm throwing you out, Mike. I'm not. No, no, no. Well, no. I would never do that. No. Anyway, folks, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, more to come later. Bye for now. Yeah. There. Yeah. Nothing now. Yeah. The lamps in it's series. Right down. Yeah. Yeah, because the lamps in series. Yes. Now, if I put the lamp, say if I put the lamp back in. Yeah, it's trying to light the fucking light. If there's a short, it will light the fucking light up, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The, the yeah. see the reason why I did that. The reason why I put it in series, put it in the, put it on the variac circuit. Yeah. So I don't burn my variac that's out. Right. Yeah, yeah. By putting something on it with short, because everything that's strange. Yeah. That I don't understand or know about, I'm not yeah, messed about with yet. Right, yeah. Goes on there. Yeah. See, I'm now confident now. Yeah. Now, now we found out that was a ground wire. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. And that switch must be wired backwards. Yes. Uh, yeah. And Joseph, we've been recording all this time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we've been sat in the front room. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, so, what I'm going to do? Yeah. I'm going to edit it. No, my fuck, I'm going to stop the recording. Yeah.